ជាទីក្រុងសំដាញ់ទាំងមហាសេនាប្រេដេចចូលហ៊ុនសែនមានយោរដ្ឋមន្ត្រីនៃប្រិជ្ជានិច្ឆកម្ពុជាជាទីក
traditions and cultural and traditional activities. Today, Phnom Penh is fulfilling the trademark of what we are calling the cultural landscape marked by the existence of mixed properties, blending natural properties and cultural properties. It designates areas where, uh, where there has been a harmonious interaction between men and nature over a long period. Linked to a particular uh, culture, which provides evidence to a traditional way of life in which nature and culture are profoundly interlinked. Cultural landscapes are described in Article 1 of the Convention concerning the protection of the world cultural and natural heritage as representing a combined work of nature and man. Phnom Penh in, is such a generous area, encompassing the natural setting provided by the confluence of the three rivers, the mighty Mekong, the Pasak, and the Tonle Sap, the world unique river that is flowing upwards the stream for the six months in a year. The perfect natural landscape has become the settle of a rich cultural city that encompasses religious monuments and heritage treasures like uh, Wak Walom in the 1445 shrine built for a sacred hair of the Buddha and considered the seat of Cambodia Buddhism who will be celebrated 575 years of continuity and uninterrupted uh, religion activities. Another landmark is the famous Wat Nom, built in 1372 and restored and reconstructed in, in several years after that, and has become a symbol of the capital city Phnom Penh and regularly used for prayer small offerings and mediation. It is a special charge place connected with the legendary figure of Grandmother Pen of, and from 15th uh, century from uh, King uh, Poneayat built the capital in Nong uh, Pen around his sacred mountain and used for keeping the cremated ashes of the king. The mountain of Wat Phnom has been transformed in the last 700 years in a place that is uniting Buddhist statues of the Angkorian era with an air, uh, art craft from the medieval and modern area and also a royal necropolis hosting the stupas for keeping cremated ashes of the royal families. Other religious places are cultural landmark are reputed one of Phnom Penh five original Watts in 1422, established as a sanctuary for the holy writings and meeting places for Cambodian and Sri, uh, Sri Lankan monks. The Watts are named in the honor of in the, in the honor of these meetings. Wat Botom Padei, uh, also one of the oldest religious buildings still in use in the city from 1422, is a compound, is crowned with and ornated with colorful stupas, including the towering Buddha relic stupa. Wat Ko, another of one of the uh, city's five original Wats, established in the early 15th century, situated in a, in a perfect picture uh, skyline by Bung Kak Lake. Phnom Penh is one of the seats of rich culture and religious object, uh, objectives, but is also presenting a long list of tourism centers, uh, fame like uh, Russian market, old market, center market, night market, and the large array of traditional markets to incredible rich uh, and richness of the uh, National Museum, having on display more than 5,000 words 
works of art ranging from the 7th to the 13th century. Treasures including sculptures, 19th century dance costumes, royal barges, etc. It will, I will just note uh, on the line of incredible cultural potential of Phnom Penh, the fact that the National Museum of Cambodia was vote, voted as a world favorite museum for the incredible treasure encompassing more than 14,000 priceless artifacts and for the perfect way that they are displayed and admired by the visitors for this message of culture. Phnom Penh is far from being just a huge open repository of temples, stupas, places, and incredible museum. It's also a place where the energy of his people is changed into huge celebrations like Moon Festival, Water Festival, Royal Flying Day, uh, Khmer New Year, or the famed Buddha Day, Wishka Ocha Day. It is a city that it embraces with warmth and gentle attentions the soul of the travelers. It's the real gate to Asia and the unique gem that shrines over us uh, with light of culture and distinction. It also takes uh, these moments to congratulate the Ministry of Tourism for the initiative to organize annually river festival in the provinces along the river and to create a special walk riverine prospect offering for tourists the opportunity to stroll around the banks of the famous Mekong. Initiatives like this are creating the image of friendly and traveler welcoming city and the image the Phnom Penh so rich deserve. We can say that the European Council of Tourist and Trades was confronted with an easy conundrum at the question, is it or is it not Phnom Penh, a world capital of culture and tourism? The positive answer was clearly kept in mind, the impressive history of the city, the enormous cultural and heritage potential of Phnom Penh, and the plans put in place by the government of Her Excellency Prime Minister Hun Sen in order to carve out an event, better future for the people of the city and for those who are coming to share the life of the gem of Asia. The incredible Phnom Penh, the city of waters, the gift of Cambodia to the world. Your Excellency, Prime Minister of the Royal, of the Royal Government of Cambodia, Academician Hun Sen, it is my privilege to hand over to your Excellency as the most representative leader of the people and tourism of Kingdom of Cambodia, the award for Phnom Penh, the world capital of culture and tourism. Thank you. So, Thank you. 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 Thank you.